Hi again, weavers and whoever else. <laughs> weavers. Um, I showed you in my last video this modification that I made to one of the um, patterns in the Strickler eight shaft weaving book. I'm still working on it. This is a set of five towels. I'm on towel number four. Each of them has a different weft color. Obviously they have the same warp colors. Um, but anyways, this time around I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going to show you a little bit of weaving. Um, but I do have the, a second camera sitting behind me under the bench showing, hopefully it's going to show my uh, feet as I'm weaving so you can see what the coordination is. Um, doing this as a walking pattern really makes it easy. So without much further else, Let's take a look. I'll aim the camera down at the weaving and start off showing you what I'm doing. Let's weave. I'm starting off with my feet to the left hand side of both sets of treadles and I'm using treadles three, four, five, and six for the for my left foot and nine, ten, eleven, and twelve for my right foot. So again this is a walking pattern so let's start walking from that side. Shift both feet to the right Now I've shifted over all the way. Now we're going to go back. That's once through the entire pattern. Let's start to one more repeat. So. There you go. Twice through the pattern.
I guess you can kind of see that um, there's not much left on the back beam here. So I figure I'm about done with this. Let's go around the front and get ready to cut this off. Okay, I guess, you know, I might have gotten a, squeezed another half an inch, an inch out of this, but it was close. And oops, I ran out of weft thread on the bob and I just said, nah, the heck with it, we're close enough. Um, to get the full length towel out of this that I wanted to have, I should have gone about another three or four inches, but I don't think I've got enough warp left to uh, do that. So I'm going to cut off a couple Irish pennants. release a little bit of tension and now the magic moment of the scissors there we are it's easier to roll this up if I have a little stick. So we'll do this. Loosen up the cloth beam and start rolling. So you can see the most recent one was using kind of yellowish warp or weft I mean then here's that red one the next one is a blue and yellow alternating stripes of weft then kind of a what would you call it, a green yeah, it's green. I couldn't remember what I did. I think the last one's a light purple. If I hadn't have done these where I was going to try and do um, fringes on one tall, I would have had enough warp to finish this last one. So I should have planned a little bit longer warp. But well. They'll still look nice. And there we are. Towels off the loom. Now it's a case of running into the um, sewing room and putting hems on these. Okay, so I've started the end of this one by putting a hem on this end, but the rest of this is all still one big monster. So let's get this out of here. Put this, push this guy back. And there's the line between two towels. In fact, I even put an orange thread in there as a separator, so we're going to try and cut right along that line to separate these two. And I've heard people say before, how can you stand to cut this? Well. That was the intention all along, so I have no problem cutting it. Because who wants one towel that's 24, 25 inches wide and 6 or 7 feet long? Pull it up this way a little bit. I 
I hope you guys can see this that I'm not completely standing in your way. Okay. So there's the first towel. The hem is folding this way so the top is on the back. Now we've got to fold this over to make a hem. And I don't, again, I, I can't tell while I'm sitting here how well you guys can see this, but I'm hoping you'll get some idea of what I'm doing besides sticking pins in my fingers, which I am doing that as well. So I'm trying to keep the warp threads all lined up with this. Don't know how well you can see that, but there I'm getting it folded over. We'll just keep going with this. And I'm pinning them the warp in place and as I put the hem in it I'll take these pins out. It's not a huge hem. stuck myself again. I think that's an occupational hazard of using pins. Okay, so that hem is pinned. So now let's see if we can, hope you can still see over my shoulder here. I know my wife said I only need to go backwards two or three stitches, but I'm going to start in about an inch and go back that way toward the edge with a straight stitch and then come all along the hem with a ziggy zaggy stretch stitch. So let's see if I can do this right now. Pull out that first pin. direction and stitch type. Pull up the next pin. Make sure that guy's properly folded under. Fold it under again. I think I've told you before, sewing is not really my area of expertise. This. Uh, really stretches my knowledge just to be able to put this hem in.
So there we are, one towel done. Um, the one that had the hem stitching on the loom, I've already cut off. It's sitting out in the living room. So this is towel number two. Three more there in that batch to do, but I'm not going to have you sit and watch all of that. I'll show you the next bit when I get them all done. And finally, here are a few pictures of the finished towel. Towels. Anyways, I hope you found this project interesting. I think the towel turned out pretty nice. So, if you like my weaving videos, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks a million. And I will see you the next time around at the loom. Bye-bye.